Hi guys, guess what? We're going fishing. Me and AJ, a and fishing. A full weekend of it, can't wait to get on the banks. We waited long enough, now it's our time to get out on the bank and have some fun. Obviously we can't take the dog because she's a little bit too young. But yeah, well, what we're going to do this weekend, we're going to Mars Trails at, at Beckles. Um, I'll show you around the complex, three lake complex. And um, yeah, we're going on beep it and see what we can do. But we've got a van, load of van up sometime today. Um, absolutely throwing it down. So I'll get the car for, like, right up to the back end of the, the porch. And we'll start loading up. So for now, we'll catch up with you later on. And um, well, well, when we're loading the van and see what room we've got left in. So we'll speak to you later. I'm in the shed for the tackle box. So we've got the car backed up to the house and um, now I've got to slowly to take bits out and get them in the boot. But so much in here, it's going to be an hour's worth of work just getting in the car. So yeah, chairs, bivvies, rods, tables, food. So anyway, catch you later. I was intending to lay everything out, but it's absolutely thrown it down with rain, so I'll try and program myself how it all goes in, get it all together, because I'm not going to lay it all out and get it all soaking wet, it's pointless. So yeah, load up, and I'll keep on going. Bivy number two. People that start up carp fishing, if you get into it as a fun way, great. When you're doing it seriously, my God, look out, but enjoy every bit of it. AJ's cushion, let it snow. Power particles, crush nuts, tiger nuts, hemp and tears. They'll have it. Make it sweet corn. Rucksack, everything in it. I've done a load of rigs the other day, so they're all prepared. Got everything spare in there. Alarms, pod, net, scales. That's all in there. One thing I've got. Plenty of batteries, no 
never have enough batteries because you just never know. Batteries for the scales. Nearly forgot the mallet. Another bag of bigs, foam, pop-ups, catapult, all sorts of bits and bobs in there. The light, which you need to recharge really quickly, but don't take too long. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good weekend. I've got a good feeling about this. Here's if I have a good feeling, we'll get fish on the bank. And then not all the time. So. Two more pots. And this one I've got a mixture. All sorts in there for spotting. Smells lovely, crushed boilies. Got everything in there. Banoffee, banana, strawberry, krill. If only you could smell that. If only you could smell it. It smells that good, you could actually want to eat it, but obviously you can't. Yeah, we'll get that mixed up with all the particles later on. I've got other pellets to put in that as well. So, there's plenty of bait. Plenty of bait. And if I need any more, it's only two miles down the road, and then there's the tackle shot. I've Freshen up. It's a bit wet. Right, after about an hour, we're fully loaded. Boots fully stocked up. And the sides all in the back is all stocked up. It's all fully loaded for the weekend. Really looking forward to it now. Eased off a little bit with the rain, which I'm really, really pleased about. So I'm gonna shut the boot down. But um, just got a couple of things to say. We've got a nice weekend this weekend because um, I've changed my baits. So we've gone for a company with Outlaw Pro over in Billericay in Essex. And um, I bought some of their bait, or quite a lot of their bait, so we're gonna use it and um, see how we go with it and also I bought some of their clothing so we should do a little video of that all later on with sort of the clothing what it's like the feel of it and just the quality but um, until then we'll catch up with you later on hi guys we're back now we're on our way all loaded up absolutely loaded to the hill my god for a weekend but it's for a full weekend not 24 48 hours and a bit more so really looking forward to it so everything's all loaded up. We've got everything that we need for the weekend. If we haven't, then tough. But we're going to go off now to a um, little supermarket. It begins with them. Other supermarkets are available. We're going to have a quick cheeky breakfast in there because it's literally across the road from the um, from the lakes. So we'll get something to eat. We don't need any more food. And um, we'll go over to the lakes, the Marsh Trail, and then get set up. And during that, hopefully it stays because it's dry now so hopefully it stays like this until we get it set up and then it can do whatever it wants so for now catch you later guys bye for now guess what we're here quick cheeky breakfast a pair of others just to set us up for the, the rest of the afternoon put a little bit of salt on because we'll need some energy for later because we've got to unload the car and get it set up but you know what we've got this breakfast what did a cup of coffee machines are both and something else no black pudding but hey hey have a bit of food a bit of nosh and go get set up so hopefully see you later on the bank bye for now well here we are marsh trail lakes free lake complex 
down in Beckles. Excuse me for the bouncing about on the, with my head because this lane is rather um, many potholes. But um, literally a couple of hundred yards away we'll be arriving and uh, we'll have a quick look at the match lake as we go past. But, uh, yeah, very, very nice three lakes. Well looked after. Yeah, so I'll speak to you in a minute. Right, here we are now. If AJ wants to slowly pan around, there's the match lake. Really nice. Sorry about the bumps. Too many potholes. So you see in the middle there, there's B pit where we're fishing for the weekend. And to the left of the other side, what you can't see is the C pit where it's sort of like for pleasure angling. Bit of fun. So, yeah. Here we are, look, there's the sign, Marsh Trail Lakes. It's got everything on there, tells you all about it, what you can do, what you can't do, the prices. And like, one thing is about taking your litter home, not leaving stuff on the bank. So, I'll go around the corner, find a swim, and away we go. See you later. We've even got swans in the water. Hi guys, well, we're all set up. It's been just relentless. The rain, everything, just getting on top, but everything's dry inside. We managed to do it, change of clothes, but the rods are set up. The baits are no, the lines are not out yet. I'm going to get baited up in sort of about an hour or so. But we're just getting things finally sort of sorted out. Um, you realise I spoke to you earlier on that um, I decided to invest in some baits. So I contacted a bait called Outlaw Pro down in Billericay in Essex. So I went down there, speak to some a couple of lads. But obviously AJ's into his filming and his media. We're trying to push it a bit further on with that. So obviously I said to them I'd advertise their baits. So I'll go through a few things with you. As you can see I bought some little bits and bobs with me, the Outlaw Bonoffi Glug, nice bit of kit, absolutely smells delicious, I'll tell you what, you could actually, oh, you'd want to drink it, but obviously you can't. We've got the Krilla Boost Sprays for your, for your boilies, all right, everybody knows what they are, just spray on your boilies. Also invested some pellets, some six mil Krilla, yeah, so that, that will mix in with the baits I've got already mixed up for later on. Also got some six mil for Noffy. Yeah, absolutely the blinding. The smell from them is, is absolutely superb. Then I got some 20 mil and 22 mil Krilla boilies. I've also got a five kilogram bag of boilies, but they're in the boobies, so I'm not getting them out yet. I'll just go through the bucket. I bought a couple of them. I think these are 10 litre ones. Yeah, so you can get quite a fair, fair old mountain there. So, yeah. That's some bits that I bought just for, for, for this weekend. I've also got some some Krilla pop-ups. They actually smell lovely, but I've actually glugged all them, so they, they've been soaking quite well, so 
that'll be used over the weekend. And I've got some Krilla pop-ups and I've got some Bonoffi wafters, which I've actually been plugging as well. And they are amazing, absolutely amazing. The guys down at Outlaw, the, the shop is just so professionally done. You know, all the guys really there to help you out, do anything for you. But yeah, this is the bait I'm going to start using. And then, um, you see, I'll go over the weekend. I'll catch you all later anyway. Bye for now. Update. We're at Mars Trail Fisheries at Beckles, Lake Bede, Specimen Lake. Uh, we're all set up, all the baits are in, rods are out. One little nip on the right rod, but nothing sort of thing. Uh, just a little bite to eat. Some chicken meatballs in gravy. AJ's choice. Oh. When, we, when we went out last time shopping, but we've at them. He complained, but they're all right. Go the hole. But yeah, nothing to report on the bank yet. Um, hopefully in the morning. This is just sort of a quick setup, just to get settled in, ready for the night. Uh, you never know, something might just take the hook bait and away we go. Otherwise, tomorrow, tomorrow night is, is the main day. So, until then, maybe catch you later or first thing in the morning. And um, yeah, we'll go for a little bit more of the out, Outlaw Pro gear that we've got, if it's dry. Oh. And one more thing I forgot, and I must get this in. Tomorrow, what I normally do is I go to the shop, obviously. I've done already done those shopping. I've already got some other little bits and bobs. So, when it's nice and dry, we're going to do Le Biscuit of Le Weekend. I do have a nice pack of biscuits, a special pack of biscuits, and hopefully we've got a special guest coming down to show him the special pack of biscuits for Le Biscuit of the Weekend. So, without further ado, I will see you sometime tomorrow or later on tonight with a fish on the bank. Take care. Morning. As you can see, I make a nice cup of mocha chocker. Um, unfortunately, nothing on the bank last night. A couple of little knocks, a bit couple of liners, I reckon. But um, yeah, so we're gonna have a nice cup of coffee or whatever it is, chocker mocha. I'm going to do some sausage, egg and bacon. Uh, pull the lines in. And I'll have a quick change of the rigs. And get it back out there. I don't know what the weather's going to be tonight. I think it's a bit of pressure. But anyway, catch you all later. Hi guys. Well, little up to date report. Nothing on the bank as yet. But uh, the fish are showing. Who knows? We're still going to give it a go. We're still here till the weekend. Well, till, till Sunday afternoon, Sunday tea time. Um, we said we advertised all the, the baits and that for now more. Well, I invested a load of clothing and I've got to say, this stuff is top quality. T-shirts, even though it's an extra large, it fits nicely. But these hoodies are awesome. I don't know all about it, but the insides, the thermal fleece stuff inside, the fit, really comfy. Very, very, very nice. So, but far from that, I've got the cap. I've got the glasses. But I can't wear sunglasses today because of this weather. But hey ho. But if we get a fish on the bank, we'll update you later on. But for now, cheers.
Hi guys, well, not a report, nothing on the bank as, as such. But we're at Marsh Trail Fisheries down in Beckles on B Pit. Um, they just had a match on A Lake, uh, between 70 and 40 pound of fish being catching up from the anglers. Obviously nothing on B Lake because we're here. Sea Lake's really quiet, but we haven't seen that one. Um, yeah, I spoke to you earlier or yesterday about um, a special guest coming down. Um, he's a lovely man. I work with him and it's unbelievable what's happened in these last four months. Uh, and I said to you, to you, I'm going to do Le Biscuit of the Weekend. A special Le Biscuit of the Weekend. Because <laughs> he's laughing. I'll introduce you to the guy, okay? He's the river urban legend of carp, from Carp Toast TV, is Petey. Welcome, Petey. Again, nice I'm, to see you, son. Again, I'm all right, all right, mate. Nice to see you. Good yeah. to see you, viewers. This guy's been out for the last <laughs> six days down on the river. Caught nothing. But he's enjoyed himself. He's got wet, more than wet. He went home last night in a nice, a nice hot bath. He's come down to see us today, see how we're getting on, which is really, really respectable. I told you I'd come see you. I know you did. I did. And I respect you, my man. But this guy loves what we've done so far with the biscuit of the weekend. He loves it. So <laughs> I'm doing a little special vlog for him. And I've gone out and found something for him, okay? This guy loves double white chocolate chip cookies with cranberries. So let's get something right here. What's right? It's in the coffee or a tea. No, it's not what, a coffee what, what, what or a tea. What's going here, Tom? That's, that's, that's rum and coke. <laughs> yeah. Outlaw Pro Cup. Huh? Yeah? Let's have a look in that. What's in that? Rum and coke. Okay? So that's how we smell. That's really, well, really good. I've got a Stella in there and I've got a John He Smith, might have a Stella I? in there. Anyway, let's get back to the biscuit. The biscuit on the weekend. We went to Aldi's again. Guess what? Belmont biscuits. I tell you what, I need money from these people. White chocolate chip cookies with cranberries. Anyway, I'm going to try one. Do you want one? Go on then. Go on, help yourself, Go mate. On, help yourself. Look at him. <laughs> Break it in half. Have a little nibble. Tell me what you reckon. Actually, they're really good. Because on the last vlog, I'd done some kind of Oreo biscuit. They weren't very nice because they was AJ's choice. But 89 p. They're what? Quite coconutty, vanillary. So there you go. He likes them. He'll either eat them later on if he's still here. Knowing him, he will be. But massive, massive respect to this guy. He's caught some fish. I think when he's 13 or 14 years old, Lucky he caught mate. a fish. He caught a fish called Lucky at 30... 32, 6, 1996. There you go, 1996. Can't complain. This guy knows his stuff. He's a young lad, but he knows he's fishing. 38 now, Tom. 38. 38 now, mate. Yeah. I'm nearly 60. That. I'm nearly 60 and still doing it. Now you're right, Tom. Yeah. But we all love the sport. That's what it's all about. So, we're on the rum and cokes. We've done the biscuit of the weekend. Um, yeah, and I just want to say something those time, mate. All the people out there, just get on you, mate, because uh, like I said to you, but I've had enough. I love my fishing, I'm passionate about sport, mate, but there's only too many times you can see a PVA bag, yeah, and how to do this, and how to do that, and how to cast here, and how to do that. Sometimes it's nice just watching the blog, mate, and it, you know, when you got, you get to know a few people, you get a little bit of character of them. Do you know what I mean? Nice Tell a little man. story. Yeah, nice man. Have a little chat. Well, I'm going to do something else as well. We'll leave the camera rolling. There's a guy behind there. Come here. This is my son, AJ. That's your cameraman, isn't it, for the future? He can come round here. This guy's a young lad, okay? He wants to get into his filming and the media. He loves it. He loves his fishing. He loves chill down. He don't want to be on the streets with all the other ones. He wants to be out here. Mate, you need to be down here with the He likes a beer. Out. I won't let him have the rum yet, but I'll let him have a beer. But a massive thank you to AJ. I think you need to get yourself down because you ain't going to be in the him, camera. Mate. They can see him, mate. If you can see him, a massive respect to him. He's my son. I love him to bits. He's got his outlaw gear on, look at him. Stinky pants though, he must stink. But we've got the biscuit of the weekend to finish off. Outlaw Pro. Outlaw Pro. The baits. <coughs> Dart for Kent, Tom. You yeah, can't, you can't Kent, vlog it out. Box. You can tackle box. Right, Dart for Kent. <laughs> tackle box. Whatever he says is whatever he says. 
Carp Toast TV in conjunction with a and <laughs> A&T Fish and Carp Toast TV the, and Outlaw Pro. Yeah, all the viewers get behind it, because I'll yeah, tell you yeah. top bloke here, old toe. Yeah. All right. So we've got the baits out. Um, I'll bring them in later on. Just re-bait up, re-bag up, and then check them out ready for the night. But hopefully we'll get something tonight. Usually the second night always happens, doesn't definitely, it? Definitely, mate. Definitely, mate. They've been boshing about over yeah, yeah. there. Since I turned up here, mate, it's been four or five bosh out. One down that inside line down there, yeah, two yeah. off that island. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. We'll get on it and see what happens. So, for now, massive respect oh, yeah. to this man, Peter. Nice. Okay, big ups. Big ups to this man, I should say. Okay? Nice and and we'll there. catch you later. Hold it up, people. And then tone. You ready? Yep. Yeah, go on. All right, I just, you don't get yourself I told you, old man, then I said, uh, I've got John Smith, mate, I've got a stella. <laughs> Check the head on that. All the chemicals in it. Old John Smith, left over from the weekend. What's he doing? All right, I just, I told you, old man, I wouldn't let him down, would I? What's he done? Thank you, don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> so, me and Dad have decided, and Petey, of course, we decided, so where we are, we're by the island, just over there, so Dad's, me and Dad are car sort of over there. But there's been a lot of activity because of the wind is coming this way. So all the fish are sort of coming into this sort of surrounding area. So what we've done, we've got one of my rods and we're set it up just in the swim, just down there. And from that, we're sort of cast it out just about in the middle of that. Because there's a lot of splashing about. Hopefully I'll get some of that on video. If not, then just take my word for it, of course. But um, I reckon that there'll be something coming down here soon there's a lot of splashing out but yeah fingers crossed hi right, guys just a little catch up just a little, little report nothing on the bank so far we've had Pete still down with us all afternoon I made him a little bit of dinner he went to Morrison's got us a bottle of brandy on asking for a bottle of rum but hey ho but anyway we've got a little guest down here tonight one of the bailiffs Andy, who sort of runs this complex, and um, which is a little bit to talk about. So we're down at uh, Marsh Trail in Beckles, as I've said a few times before. But um, yeah, Andy, just give a little chat about sort of what, what's on the A Lake, the B Lake, and the C Lake. Well, the, uh, the B Lake is the main specimen lake. Fish going up to the 30 pound plus, averaging around mid to high doubles, a few good high 20s in there. A Lake over there. There's a good selection of course, good match angling lake, go up to lots of silverfish, plenty of good carp, 10, 12 pound, and sea lake behind us, another good match lake. Fish going up to 10, 11 pound, but plenty of silverfish. But is sea lake not sort of used for, not a lot for sort of like the pleasure anglers, sort of yeah, the, you know, yeah, to, pleasure to the beginners yeah, and yeah. stuff? Yeah, both the other two lakes. Are, what, and a lake as well? A lake as well. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. That, yeah, so that's good for, good, good to come down and get you a, a good bend in the rod before you want to sort of venture onto the big boys lake. Yeah, yeah. so. There you go. The choice is yours. Match Lake, Specimen Lake, or the Little Lake. And they'll come and see you. And they'll come and see you. Good prices, 20 quid for 24 hours. I think it's 10, 10 quid for the day. 10 quid for the day in B, eight pound in uh, A and C. Children and uh, senior citizens and disabled, seven quid. What more can you ask? And there's fish in the water. All you've got to do is put a hook and a line in it. Plenty of them. Plenty of them. So for that, I'll catch you all later, guys. Tight lines. Okay. There we go, boy. We're still hanging about. We've got Iron Tree here now. Little recast for the evening. Get some money on the spot. There we go. Straight out in the middle there, Joe. Bang. Straight on the A12 trench, mate. Right out there. Nice. Nice little fish. Yeah, nice. 
a nice time. I'll be happy with that, mate. Got the Outlook, what, eight layers of Outlook Pro on that tone, isn't it? Yeah, I got a load of that. I got the output. What one's that? Tone. What one's that, Tom? The um. What, what one you got on that, mate? So I'm just feeling alone. Sorry about that. You put, put I've, your pellet on. Yeah, mate. I've got the pellet in there. I've got a little bit yeah, of mixed mix. What mixed. Uh, the pellet I've got in there is a little bit of banoffee, yeah. a little bit of krill. Yeah. And then I've got a 20 mil pop up. Well, actually, not not the pop up. The um. The other one, the wafter. Yeah, got the wafter on there. Quickly balanced up, mate. Yeah, that's all nicely, quickly balanced. It should do well. That's we'll it, Tone. The, they, call the A, they call it the A12 out there. It's so the old footpath. Wait, hey, boy, doing a little blog here now, mate. Yeah, it's just a little footpath. And it is AJ, it is, it is the A12 so out the there, one, mate. Last one for the night. Um, everything else is baited up. This has been down there all afternoon in the margins because they've been rocking up around there, so I'm going to leave that in. Last two rods. Down in the margin of the island and down in the middle back on the A12 on the right hand side. So hopefully through the night that spots we'll get nuts. something. That spots and that's yeah because this one's here. But I'll that go. swan has been a pain in the back. I ain't gonna swear, but that's eating about 30 quid's worth. Yeah. That's eating about 30 <laughs> quid's worth of bait. <laughs> Pete is still here, has been to become a pain in the arse. No, he hasn't. Alright. He hasn't that really. Swan, is that everything? But that swan, I think you not. I baited up there, I put about 30 oh, quid's worth of bait in there. And that's eaten so much, it had abscesses coming down its neck. But, hey ho. I put it back in there, I've chilled myself out, all the rods are up, all sat up for the night, all being well, we'll get something on the bank. All right? And Pete is still here. Yeah, take the right time. Take it easy, guys. Well, good morning. Sunday morning, Father's Day. Got the cat. Got the mug, a nice cup of coffee, and we've got the glasses for the lanyard. Thanks a lot, son. Uh, yeah, horrible weekend. It's still raining and nothing on the bank, but we've tried everything that we could possibly do. We've enjoyed everything we've done down here, the facilities, the lakes down at Mars Trail at Beckles. Lovely. Uh, we're here for another couple of hours for lunchtime, and then we start packing up. Everything that's wet, we've got to try and wipe down. <laughs> we get in the car, get it all loaded up, get home, unpack it all, dry it all out, and get ourselves all sorted out. So, for me, Tony, AJ's on the camera, ANT fishing. Uh, we'll see you next time on the banks. All the best. Well, hi guys. That's it. 48 hour session done, nothing on the bank. But that's the way it goes with fishing. Sometimes you get one or two, or sometimes you get nothing. But it's just the solace and enjoyment of it. So, we're all heading home now. Going home for a nice shower. Get all the, <laughs> everything emptied out, dried off, and um, get sorted up for the rest of the day for work tomorrow. So, for May and T fishing, me, Tony, AJ there. He's gonna pan himself around just so you can see AJ. Yeah. All the best for everybody. And especially all the guests that came down. You know, the bailiff, Andy, gave a little shout out about what's, what's in his lake. And my mate, Petey. So, hope you enjoy the vlog, or you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you all soon. Take care.